Forces are a push or a pull. Net force is the total of all forces working on an object at any given time. So you have to be able to calculate the total of all those forces, which is the net force. So simple enough, if the forces are working together or going in the same direction, you would add them. If the forces are working against each other, going in opposite directions, you would subtract them. So if we look at different scenarios, in our first one, we have three newtons of force pulling to the left and 20 newtons of force pulling to the right. Because these arrows are going in opposite directions, we would need to subtract. So we would get a net force of 17 newtons. Remember, the SI unit for force is always in for newtons. In our second scenario, we have five newtons of force to the left, and we have 10 newtons of force also to the left. Because these are working in the same direction, we would need to add them for a total of 15 newtons of net force. The last scenario, we have four newtons of force to the right, two newtons of force to the right. So if we look at these, we need to add these because they're going in the same direction, both going to the right, for a net force of six newtons. In this last free body diagram, we see 12 newtons of force pushing the box to the right. We have 15 newtons of force pushing the box to the left. Sometimes people get confused when they're pushing the object. You need to look at the arrows carefully and label left and right. So because they're going in opposite directions, we would need to subtract them. So our net force is three newtons. Now, why is it important to determine the net force? Well, there are two other terms that we also have to look at, balanced and unbalanced forces. Balanced forces mean that the net force is zero. It only happens if forces are working in opposite directions and they are equal in size. The result of this is there's no change in an object's motion. So an object that is not moving will not move. However, notice that if it's moving at a constant speed in a constant direction, it will continue because those forces are balanced. Because by definition, constant means going the same speed. So if there's no change in an object's motion, it would continue to go the same. Now, unbalanced forces are any other net force besides zero. It could be 0.25 and still be unbalanced. This is going to cause some sort of change in the object's motion that we call an acceleration. Maybe the object's going to speed up. Maybe it's going to slow down. Maybe it's going to change direction. So let's take a look back at our examples and see what would happen. So if we look at this first one, we have 17 newtons. So the object, the force is greatest going to the right, so the object would travel to the right. The second one, we have two forces going in the same direction, so this object would accelerate to the left. In this scenario, both forces are going to the right, so the object would accelerate to the right. Now you notice I used a vector for that. Now, in our last one, we have 12 newtons and 15 newtons, but the greater force is going to the left, so that would be the direction of the acceleration. Now, if the forces are balanced, then your net force is going to be zero and there would be no change in motion. So if we think about it, if there's any type of acceleration, the forces have to be unbalanced.